Welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. Tonight, multiple high-profile officials are speaking out against New York DA Alvin Bragg, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who accused Bragg of, quote, weaponizing his office. So what do the people of New York think about their own district attorney? Joining us now with a full report, Fox News contributor Sarah Carter. Good evening, Sarah. Good evening, Judge Janine. I spent the afternoon here in New York City talking to folks about how they felt about Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. And you know, many of them echoed the exact same sentiments as Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida. Take a listen. We're here in New York City. You've obviously heard about President Trump's possible upcoming indictment, right? What's going through yeah. your mind when you hear about that? Um, it's upsetting because our, our very own um, livelihood was actually so much better under um, Trump's presidency. I know a lot of problems came when, once Biden came. I'm not too political, but I know that's the thing. I think the DA should probably focus more on local crime. We live up on the Upper East Side, so I think crime around the streets is probably more of a problem than prosecuting Trump right now. Do you think maybe he should spend more time here taking care of what's going on in his city? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, you know, the places that are the most popular, like Grand Central, Penn Station, the, you know, the commuter um, places definitely need to be cleaned up more and they need to focus on those places, yeah. Do you think it has anything to do too with not prosecuting people for crimes? Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. <laughs> most <laughs> definitely. You know, last year, Judge, the city saw an increase of 23% in crime, and uh, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg also reduced felonies uh, to misdemeanors by 52%. The people of New York City are more concerned about what's happening here in their own community than they say targeting President Trump, which, would, which is, is what appears to be a weaponized use of this prosecution. Judge? Well, you know, I, I must tell you, Sarah, it's fascinating to hear people talk about it. You know, it's not sometimes, it's not just an issue of, you know, he's weaponizing the criminal justice system. He's literally ignoring victims in this city. And this city is now a high crime city. It went from one of the safest cities in the country, large cities, I think the safest, to a disaster because he won't prosecute crime. Anyway, Sarah Carter, great to see you.